Howdy guys, Bailey here from Outback Equipment. Today we've got one of the carbon off-road winches out here in the beautiful Glasshouse Mountains. A little bit overcast today, we might need to use it a few times, so get ready for that. Alright guys, before we get into it, I wanted to run through what we have in the box with the Carbon Scout Pro Extreme Duty Winch. So this is their fast winch version. So it has their seven horsepower motor. It has the longer barrel, so this may not fit in all vehicles. They also have their original model, which is the 6.2 horsepower as well. So alongside the seven horsepower motor, we have the 180 to one ratio uh, gearbox along with its clutch on top here. So a nice feature with this is the click. Unlike most of your winches out there, you're gonna have a lot of stickage. This one is nice and easy to use. On the barrel of your winch here as well is a 12 mil synthetic rope along with the 16 ton thimble, which is soft shackle compatible. So guys, this whole system is actually IP68 rated. So what that means is you can run this winch at 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes, although I wouldn't advise that. The piece that allows this is the Gore-Tex style breather. So this allows air to travel in and not allowing any moisture, which is pretty unique to this winch here. Moving on to the wiring portion of the winch, guys, we have the upgraded solenoid unit from previous models, along with a marine style isolator switch as well. So you're not gonna have any issues with this one. Also included in your kit is the two controller styles. So you've got your wired here, and then you also have your remote version. A pretty unique feature with your wired winch controller is the ability for this to slot in and lock as well. So you're not gonna have any issues with that busting out while you're on the trail. So some other notable features is the lanyard that's included here with the wireless remote allowing you to clip it onto somewhere in your car so it's nice and safe. Uh, they also include Conju to keep all your wires protected. You don't want them earthing out with the amount of current going through them. You also get all the hardware you're gonna to need to attach your winch and your solenoid as well. All right guys, so Carbon offers a large range of winches. For this application, we've gone with obviously the 12,000 pound fast winch. The reason for that, we're gonna be using this winch constantly on the GU, it's quite a large vehicle. If you've got a standard ute, you might opt for the 9,000 pound, or if you're not gonna be using the winch too often, they've got options for you as well. Alrighty guys, that's been a quick overview of what you get with the Carbon winch. If you've got any other questions, make sure you drop them down below, but let's get back to wheeling. Right, Righto guys, while we're in a bit of a controlled setting here, I wanted to show you how to set up a simple winch recovery. First step, we're gonna um, unlock our clutch on the winch. So with the carbon, it's as simple as pulling up and twisting to the side. That way, we're able to free spool our winch out. For this recovery, we're gonna be hooking up to the tree behind me. Make sure you're picking out a nice solid tree. Uh, it's not dead, gonna fall over, something like that. Also, making sure you're in a straight line back to your vehicle. You don't want it on too much of an angle if you can avoid that. We're gonna be using one of the 12,000 pound carbon off-road straps to go around the tree behind me. Then we're gonna be connecting up with one of the soft shackles back to our winch thimble. Last step, uh, you wanna make sure you put a winch dampener or dampening uh, blanket over your strap as well. So in this case, our point with the most connections is up near our thimble here. So this is the point of most likely failure. Uh, we wanna make sure that if anything fails here, uh, it's gonna drop straight to the ground with this blanket over the top. Alrighty guys, just like that, we're ready to winch. A few last things to keep in mind, make sure you lock your clutch back in. Also, we have two options with the Carbon Scout Pro, either your wide version, which goes straight into the top of your control box here. If that one's not easy to access though, don't worry, you've got a wireless remote that comes along with it too. So in most cases, I prefer to opt for that. Righto, after we've got that one tensioned up, guys, don't forget to clear the area and we're ready to winch. Alrighty guys, we're in the midst of it now. Not gonna lie, we've had to use the winch a few times today, but I just wanted to show you some of the gear that's helping us get through the tracks. Uh, so from carbon, obviously we've got our winch up front, uh, but some of the bits of gear we've used today is their soft shackles. So we have the monkey fist soft shackle with the braided sheath 
over the top, super good for some of the rougher stuff we've been doing. You're not gonna damage this, you can throw it around all you want. Uh, we've also got one of the carbon off-road uh, soft shackles just with the protective uh, sheath over the top as well. So when we're hooking up for one of our recoveries early today, we used one of the hitch blocks. So we chucked this one in the back of Sean's car, Great thing with this is it's multi-purpose. You can use it on any of your hitch styles. It uh, can be mounted horizontally or vertically as well. And it can also receive soft shackles, which we've been using, or your traditional uh, D shackles. One of the other notable bits of gear, obviously your winch dampener guy is essential when you're doing some of those big recoveries. Putting this over the point of most strain. In this case, it was around our end of our recovery where the uh, thimble was attached and we had all our connections. Another little bit of kit is our recovery ring. Uh, we didn't have to use that one today, guys, but in the situation where you might need a double line pull uh, to double up the strength of your winch, this one definitely comes in handy. Guys, this has been a cracking day out in the tracks. Gotta say, we probably wouldn't have made it through without the carbon winch. Uh, just letting you know, they're available all day, every day at outbackequipment.com.au. Uh, if you like this one, give us a like, comment below, and we'll catch you in the next one.